Welcome back for some more Spell Brigade, and we actually did get a new update recently that added another wizard. I still don't have them all unlocked, but this is the newest one, Aldric. And they start with the Aether Beam? Cast a beam that links you to the nearest enemy, dealing constant damage. Crit stats, plus 12 crit damage, a little bit less crit, crit chance, and some armor. So we're going to go in, we're going to do a run. Uh, we'll do it on Severe. Not going on hardcore. We'll go on the Frozen Ancients. I haven't done a run on this map in a very long time. This is still one of my favorite games in the genre, so I, I, I like circling back to it whenever there's a new content update. But we just have the steady beam coming off of us, which I think could be really neat. Spell cooldown. I don't know if that's worth having. It seems like, is it cooldown for the damage instances? Maybe. You know, maybe it hits faster? Or it might just be a waste. So, if we can get some uh, some luck here and get augments that add on more beams would be really cool. Um, Let's do base crit damage. Take that. More beams would be kind of neat, though, just to see it going off. Maybe we can get luck with the uh, with the weapons, too, and we can actually make it so that I'm not just running away the whole time. I do agree with... Uh, it was mentioned on one of my previous videos. I do think that you probably should be able to get to the point in, in most of these games. You should be able to get to the point where you're so broken that you don't have... You don't feel like you need to run constantly. In this game, you do. You're always on the run, constant. You know, if you get if you get busted, you get busted. You should be able to just kind of stand there and beat the crap out of the enemies. We've got to try and get to level five as fast as possible. This really isn't the weapon for that, I guess. Seems to not be. Okay, um, Falling Stars is nice. Stars with Necro World could be a really, really fun thing. Um, let's go Stars. Yeah, see, I like the Stars myself. They, they really hit hard, but we're going to try and do this Beam weapon on this guy. I think there's still actually spells that I haven't even seen. Alright, what do we got? We got cooldown. Okay, cooldown on this is really nice. If you can get a fast cooldown on this on those guys, it's it's crazy. Feel the rift. Wouldn't be too bad. I love that all of the games that have been coming out in this genre have been adding little missions in there, you know, like stuff to do. It, it's nice to have these objectives. All right, what do we got? Oh crap, I'm taking damage here for sure. Um, yeah, see, uh, cast an additional projectile. I mean, we can do it. Uh, the spell aims at the enemy with the most HP. For most health, the spell's base damage is also increased by 15%. I want to roll and hope for another beam. Cast another projectile? Let's do it. Double beams. Base damage up. Let's do it. You can't take too many of those, though, right? Um, the base upgrades, because it, it's it's really hard to get enough levels going to get to get uh, your stuff leveled up where you can put elements on there. Like I would love to do that, but we're taking this. 
Oh crap. I'm gonna lose a revive here if I'm not careful. Almost like we should have chests or something on the map that give us a bon bonus levels or something. Occasionally. Like the vampire survivor chest, where there's like a chance based on your luck to get certain more uh, more stats or more levels right on your weapons. That could be nice. I kind of think the way this game's built is it's built to almost make it impossible to get so strong that you can just run through enemies. Um, range, I don't care about. We're going damage. Seems to be quite rangy to begin with. Yeah, I don't think the damage is great on this thing at all, eh? Like it just doesn't it just isn't that sexy. Even with double beams going. Okay, um, spell size? No, that doesn't matter for the beam because it's not like piercing through things. No damage on those. I mean, size on the stars, I think you make it so they explode, so maybe that would matter. Go and look and see if we can find a chest with a scroll in it. I guess we, so we do have chests, it's just they're not what I would want in a chest. I think our single target damage is going to be a problem for killing this healer. We'll go damage on there again. Definitely got to find a way to get that that uh, healer out of there. Best way to get levels early is to blow those things up. All right, over here. Anything over here? Nothing. We're gonna have another side quest here very soon. Beam range. Okay, fine. I'll put the range on. I don't know. I, like I said, I don't really know if it's going to be effective or not. Um, let's go. Let's go acid. Ice is a beautiful thing, just because of the slowing. But can't do it. Oh, nice fungi. Fungi's great. That's an easy one. Usually. Usually it's easy. Let's see if we can pull it off. Uh, run through. And do we go another beam? We can. We have the HP to, to spend. I love that they've added rerolls. That was like my biggest thing that I needed in this game. Is the ability to re-roll augments so that you can really fine-tune your build. I don't think the damage is there. A minute to find nine more of these.
Beam damage. We have to do it. We've got to just keep on putting damage on if we can. Maybe we need to increase the crit chance. You know, if we could, if we get, if we get a chance to. I'd like to kill that guy before he gets a chance to heal all these enemies. There we go. Last one. Okay, so so stars explode, but we'll you know what we'll do it. We'll go another beam. Why the hell not? So we got triple beam. I think if you could make it so that all beams would focus on Imagine that. All beams focus on enemy with highest HP would be a really cool augment. If you had this with three and then you put on something where it's focusing like that, that would be a really cool addition and probably massively OP. Pick up distance? Nah. Got to be a chest laying around here somewhere. That I've probably seen and just ignored. One more level, we get another weapon, and then hopefully we can start getting some kills here. I got to take... I, I got to take something like the sword... It's gonna slap. I mean, the stars do. They're just not hitting enough. I think stars are probably better than this beam. How long can I hold this beam on one enemy and not have to see a single thing die? Holy crap, man. <laughs> just sitting here. But it is only hitting for like 35 damage, right? Like it just doesn't hit. Or is that the acid? Um, daggers go forward. If you can get this so that it shoots backwards, it's really nice. Maybe this would be okay. I know it's not like big damage, but maybe it'd be all right. Try it. It's not. It's not usually a weapon that I like to use, but it's. It's gonna help me, I think. Feel the rift. All right, let's see if we can pull this off. Maybe they nerfed the leveling. I feel like I'm not leveling at all. Did they nerf the XP gain in this game? That wouldn't be nice. Base cooldown. No. Um, but you know what? I'll do I'll do cooldown on the stars. Oh, we're losing a revive here. Holy crap. I might not be able to hold on to this. Luck? Now we better go here. Yeah, we're not going to be able to pull this off. It is just not an impressive weapon.
We're gonna try. We're, if we can get this. Hey, that blew a bunch of things up. We did it. We have no revives left, but at least it refills. Crit chance, yes. Beam cooldown. I'm putting it on just because I gotta try. Um, spell aims with the enemy with the most HP. See, I don't want to do that, but I can't. Spells, spells explode. I couldn't afford to trade HP there. I think that the Falling Stars are significantly better than the Beam. And we're going to see some a lot more killing happening now that we've got them exploding. If I had taken Solar Pulse over the rocky road, probably wouldn't have lost a single life. <laughs> Spell cooldown. Sure. It's gotta be the hits. It's gotta be how fast it hits. Found a single scroll yet. Maybe they're in the maybe it's in the top right. I think that's maybe the only spot I haven't really been to at all. Oh, never mind, up here, top left. If you're still here at this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't liked the video, it helps come with the algorithm. Um, your luck is increased. Yeah, we could do that. Every time you level up, you regain 100 health. No. Yeah, we'll go luck. Uh, I'm gonna die. I am gonna die. Ooh! That was close. We didn't get the big the big explosion I was hoping for. I was hoping that it would blow off a bunch of those dudes. I think they must have nerfed the XP gains. I feel like being only level 22 at this stage of the game is really, really bad. Uh, you regain 75 health every time you dodge an attack? No. This is new for me. I just unlocked this one. Your damage is increased by 1%, and your move speed is reduced by 0.25% for every armor you have. Wow, that's interesting. I don't really have any armor. Let's just do this. It's almost like a pickled nitro scenario there. Base crit damage, base crit chance. Also, the magnets are gone, so maybe that's part of it. Like, they've I don't know if they're gone, gone, but I know that they nerfed that. Crush the statues. I know that they they nerfed the amount of uh, magnets, and maybe it was too much. Because I haven't seen a single magnet the whole run, which is kind of crazy. I don't think it's I, like this is I'm just I'm just talking here. I. My opinion is just one one person's opinion. I don't think removing things from the game that make it more fun is a good idea. <laughs> That's just my opinion. I think having lots of magnets dropping isn't a bad thing.
There, that's the benefit. There's one of the benefits of not being paid to make my content. I can be critical of of things if I if I want to without anybody being like, "Hey, we paid you to be nice." <laughs> I can just say what I want. I think nerfing the magnet drop is a bad idea. Um, damn, I'm not getting any luck with that, am I? But we're still increasing our luck by just not using our rerolls. Do it. Um, and I come from like someone who played the hell out of Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, right? Which is a game where you get like one magnet on a floor if you're lucky. And that was a big issue for people. There it is. So much easier than uh, protecting the area. Cast an additional projectile. Cast an additional beam. <laughs> do we do it? Yeah, we do it. We got the quad beam going. I think I'd rather do an all-out stars run myself. Yeah, focused beam would probably be a really cool thing, you know? Like, if I had four of these, and then you give me one that's like, hey, you know, you could, if you want, you can make all your beams focus one enemy, or just have it be, combine all beams into one. Mega beam would be, the mega beam would be pretty cool. Final boss is going to be here before I have level 25. They, they, they had to have done something with the experience drops in there. Or damage output is down. Something. I'm not killing these big dudes at all. It could be... You know what? It could just be the beam. You know what? I take it back. Before I say stuff like that, it, it could just be... That the beam isn't, like... Focusing them. Maybe I should have taken... Um... Focus the enemy with the most HP. Maybe I should have done that. Um, this could be okay. Let's do this. Scepter's kind of neat. Yeah, now the scepter's killing those things. It's taking them out. Um, glacial acid or venom? Venom. Venom beams. Yeah, it looks cool. We only have one revive left. I feel like that's going to be a bad thing. Yeah. In hindsight, I probably should have taken... Focus the enemy with the most HP. Because I'm never going to be able to damage the, the boss. I'm never going to be able to damage the boss with my beams. Be the world's longest uh, boss fight. This rate. Let's go over here and get this experience. Uh, damage rate. I think we just put it on there for sure. Spell duration can be really good on the scepter mesh as well, because then you could potentially end up getting more out. Well, cool down. There we go. Cool down on the mesh. Give me some of those things. Boss is coming. No magnets still. That is a complaint that I will stand by. <laughs> hey, we got the Wizard King. That's cool. Spell damage. Ace move speed. 
Hmm. No, no, I'm gonna go cool down again. All right, can we vanquish this dude? How hard is that gonna be? I feel like it's gonna be very heavily reliant on the stars to get the job done here. Oh, well, you know, we've, we've taken a little bit of health off of them. Okay, never mind. We're, we're getting them. We, we're taking a nice, like, 30k off of them already. But it's likely all stars. And mesh. enemies do speed up though like the longer you drag this out I feel like something like they get harder hit level 30 uh, beam cooldown no spell damage yeah let's do it because then we can get an element on there fire stars explosive fire stars don't touch me don't touch me don't touch me <laughs> we can't have that happening with only one revive this will be a good one. Big damage. Over half dead. I'd have to look at my previous videos, but I feel like level 30 is very low. Damage rate again? Or just damage? I'm taking the damage on the meshes. down on you guys. Alright, we've got this in the bag, though. It's it's over. The damage is picked up, finally. It just took an entire run. Hey! Another one of these guys. Oh, shh. <laughs> that was close. I can grab that potion, finally. Um, let's go... Let's go base cooldown. Give me that. 40,000 HP left. Yeah, see, this is just this is just taking an incredibly long time <laughs> to kill him. So, range with focus on enemy with most HP would be a good way to, to do this boss. On this weapon. He did have a moment there where it was really close to me dying. Almost got crushed. Ace critical damage? Nah, we're gonna go here. More cooldown on those guys. Him. Oh, they made it back for a scroll. Um, no. Each time you, I wonder if this is like, we'll take it, but I don't know if it's like retroactive to the ones that we've already completed. Like if I just gained 40. I must have, I'm up to 86 armor. Dude's getting fast. Damage rate. 
Sure. 7,000 HP. I promise I'm not trying to drag this out. I just can't get close enough to him. There he goes. I don't even know what the hell took him out. What the hell took his last 7,000? <laughs> we got the Wizard King unlocked, finally. So if we quickly look at this. Bells, of course the beam was doing some work, but look at the stars. Yeah, stars way better. Rocky wrote, I should have known better. I, I always think it's going to be good. It's terrible. Look at that DPS. It's just bad. Mesh was good. But yeah, the beam just isn't it. We did it though. We we put it on. The beam just isn't isn't it. Uh, mesh and stars definitely. Mesh honestly could be the best one. That thing does crazy damage. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more games like this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Catch you on the next one. Have a fantastic day.